Being from New England, I developed an interest for the local history and folklore. Of course, given the era that we live today, one has to consider additional factors, such as the continued progression of the entertainment industry. Movies, music videos, and television are a dominant force in world culture and on today's contemporary artists. The components of the advertising industry's strategies, for example, ads, prints, billboards, are designed to entertain as well as capture, lead, and prompt the human psyche. Mass surrealism coalesces mass media-related art, including but not limited to pop art and surrealism. Pop art falls under the same classification of mass media-related art, as it is Marshall McLuhan's assertion that pop is part of the same technological fugue, which arguably was the first step into the bringing about of new media art. Marshall McLuhan, Art as Anti-Environment, Art News, May 1966. Literary mystery piqued my interest in surrealism, and additional influences came partially from the pop artists as well as the mass media. Pop presents technology and imagery we can understand instantly. Artists of yesterday are the same as artists of today, likewise for the artists to come. We use whatever tools, materials, and methodologies that are at our disposal during the time each has on the planet. As we pass the year 2000, the old media combines with the new media, which continues the evolution to the next level the way artists create. Mass surrealism reflects the present moment, and as Rod Serling, who was the creator for the famous American television show The Twilight Zone, once said, The place is here, and the time is now.